Okay, uh, what we're going to do today, this is the um, the big bat plant here. It's, uh, you can see it's got, it's always had multiple ones coming out and it, it needs water. I got to water it again. Over here is the baby. This is the one here that's, uh, it's root bound already. Um, I actually cut it off this one in here, but I gave one away um, in this kind of container and he said it was root bound all the way down. So what I have is, is this uh, container here. Um, it's a little bit deeper, but I'm going to set the plant up higher. And the first thing that you want to do is make sure, bust these, uh, bust these tabs out here so you can have a little drainage. So I'm going to go ahead and get the plant out and show it to you. Okay, and as you can see, it's really, really root bound here. So what I'm going to have to do is set it up high inside of that container. Um, and I'm really thinking that may not be big enough for now, but it'll the roots will be able to spread out a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour some soil in it and get it straightened back up. But you can see the roots here. So it looks like it's got a little flower getting ready to come too. It may go into shock. Um, I don't know. They're pretty resilient. The bat plants are resilient. I mean, they're uh, anything under 40 degrees, or if it's you know 38, 40 in the winter, uh, just put a light tarp over it. Um, it's it's it, it's resilient. Um, it, it cannot take freezing temperatures. It loves this Florida humidity, um, bright indirect sun. Uh, I, I fertilize it every now and then, just with a, a real low dose fertilizer, like um, something to do for maybe orchids or something around the perimeter. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little uh, little extra green. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and get it positioned, and I'm going to have it probably sitting right at the. Uh, probably a little higher and kind of build up around it so I can get it up straight so be back in a second here it is um, up close so what I did is um, I built it up a little bit um, to give it room to grow down because um, these pots are almost uh, there's the uh, the big one there and this one's just a little bit smaller but I raised it up to give it to about right here and let the roots spread out a little bit so this may be good for it for uh, um, for its life we'll see Looks like it's got some little mites right there. This uh, soil is wet. This bag was uh, was in front of the garage and it was already wet and moisture, so I'm not going to water it right now. Um, but you see, I got it setting up straight, and uh, um, I'm going to hope it takes root right here because, like I said, it's a little, you know, it's built up. I probably could have got it a little bit lower, but I'm going to let it sit and let it get root bound, and then it'll be uh, should be fine. It's it's up straight now. Um, like I said, I probably could have dropped it, you know, a little bit more, but I think it'll be fine uh, once the root takes over and uh, more more things start popping out. I can build a, I can actually build it up even higher. That's probably what I'll do is get more soil and build this up even higher. Um, maybe get a little something to edge it with and just build it up. But there's a little flower coming off. We'll see if this um, if this thing is going to put it in shock or anything. I don't think it will. It's pretty. I mean, like I said, they're pretty resilient. And this was a baby off of, off of the big one over there, so gave the other one away. So I'll check back in a week and let you know how it's doing. So that's the bat plant.